So guys, good evening. So uh, this evening, guys, uh, we'll continue with our tutorial series. So the last time we have our, if you watch my video, we have our, this one. Uh, we are implementing a unit of work and request story pattern in a web API in .NET 6 and we are using uh, this one this is uh, not this one this is the, uh, let me check. Uh, welcome back to our series so this one this is our last this week in back tutorial so tutorial. we are implementing the uh, channel using this is my channel uh, of work so couple days. afternoon we are going to now guys uh it's nice to have a repository pattern as well as a combination of unit of work, but it's more nicer to have to implement a generic repository. So generic repository is just mean that you can use uh, for all the entities. For example, in our in our existing one, actually I already created it. So I will just have to uh, walk through. Okay. So for example, in our existing one that we create, we have this iUser user in service interface. So this is for the user entity or the user people. So we have our, for example, this signature, add, remove, and we have get all user I think. Now. If we are not going to implement a generic repository, if we create for the driver's entity, country entity, user entity, then you have to create as well this one. So this will be repeated. So it will be a duplication of code. So our goal is uh, remove the redundancy of code. So that's the goal of the repository pattern. But if we will not implement generic repository, you are repeating as well in the in this kind of code. So that's why we in this tutorial we are implementing a generic repository pattern and of course the unit of work that will be uh, set as transaction. No, it will serve as a one unit of work so it means to say uh our our repository is just a collection in the memory and the time that we are going to save that to our database it will be the unit of work task all right so i already created uh the re generic repository pattern so i will just walk through for example here uh this is now the I unit of work. So basically, this is the previous one, which is not implementing generic repository. So now I am using now I also repository. This is now implementing generic repository. So if you we take a look in the I also repository, so this is an interface of I also repository that inherit the i generic repository of type user so in this i user repository it's only have one method or one signature which is the collection but in the generic i repository it's have a lot so let's take a look at the i generic repository so as you can see here this is generic so it means to so see this repository or interface can act, can act or can have different type. This one is entity. It could be a user entity. It could be the car entity. It could be the booking information entity. Okay. So we just add the word entity is class. So this generic repository will just accept a class type. So here we have get, but of course it's of type the entity is not generic. We have I enumerable git all, so it's also now uh, generic. And we just added uh, some more functionality, some signatures. 
for example, we have the pine and we have the expression, we have the expression here. Uh, uh, we will also have find a sync. Actually, we can implement a sync here. But, uh, yeah, this is just to minimize. No? This is just a sample. So, we can add depending on what you need. So, basically, the querying, we have three parts there. Querying and then the adding. Add. This is type generic. So, it could be user, car, or entity, which means the table. Okay. An address, it will be a uh, immutable of entities. Okay, and remove entity and remove all. It will be a collection of entities. So from that, guys, so we have a generic repository now, and then of course in our in our this is the I user service before, and uh, we are created now a user repository implementing a generic repository of type user or generic user so now in our repository we have created this generic repository as well so this is the implementation of the i generic repository so as you can see here i a generic repository is a generic type and it's implementing i gen interface generic repository or generic type Okay, so that is why, of course, we just uh, constructor here, we, we inject the connection, our, our uh, demo context class that we have created. And now, in the implementation of our uh, generic repository, so add, it will receive an entity. So it could be user, car, or what else, any type of entity, and that time we can add. So just like that. Okay, so this is all for generic, okay? So now, so this is just like that, okay? So now when we go to our <clears throat> unit of work class implementation, so the same we are inheriting the unit of work, but here we are now using the generic I repository of user repository and when we go to our user repository this one user repository it is now inheriting the generic repository of type user and also inheriting the i user repository interface so this is now a uh, multiple inheritance so as you can see here our constructor is also have the demo context class, but we are passing it to the base context class. So, so this is the collection. So basically, user context that user the tool is. So at here we have created uh, this one. This is a property of user context. So basically, we just return the context as the this part. So it's just like a variable and that one we can use it. Alright, so that is how we are implementing the generic repository. So now, after that, it's been created. So this user service is not anymore used. So this was, this was before. Okay, so this was before, which means to say it's not a generic. Okay, so we can remove it. Actually, we can remove it or we can delete. It's not needed anymore. So if we build this, let's say this, okay, no reference for that. And this one also, this is before, which is not generic, so we can now remove it. Right, so this is just. Um, a little changes, a lot changes for now, but in the implementation, it's okay. So, I mean, in creating another entity, like for example, if you create car, uh, the country booking info, we minimize the code, okay, because it's now generic. So, this, this is now the interface generic, basically, and the unit of work is just having this 
uh, user interface okay and then this is the repository for i user repository it's inherit the generic repository so now let's go to the client class or the web api how we need to do it all right so before this is the user controller so of course we are not using the directly the app uh this one this uh this this one uh, this class because we are using now the unit of work so that is why in our user controller so we are implementing or injecting the unit of work not the uh the context that we are creating so basically it's just like the same before but it's just on the uh, generic repository implementation that matters so for now, so user, you need to work user service, git all. So when you can see this git all, it is now in a generic. Okay. So which means we can use car or other entity. Then our add user, this is a user type. So you need to work user. This is already available because in our unit of work uh, implementation, you can see here, unit of work. Yeah, we have here user service and it's passing the context that's got connection or user repository. Okay, but of course, of type I user service repository. Okay, so we are not directly calling the concrete class implementation class this is for if you have to test or uh, test development approach tdd where you can mark the testing you have no actual database okay so that's another topic no so let's go back here so that is how now how it's being worked now so this one, before we are going to remove, we find the uh, user, okay? So we we try to see if this all working. So we just change it to generic repository. story. So first we add the, uh, we query the user. So we try it out, we execute. Okay, so it's good going here, get user. And then when we debug, it will go to the generic repository, right? The git all. And then the, the entity that we pass that is the user. So, yeah. And yeah. Because this is the user service. This is context. Okay. So, Right, the user. You see, so we're able to have the success return and we get the user. So, user ID is two. So, remember, this is two. So, if we delete it, go back here, we delete user ID two. So, we try out, we pass the user ID here too. Here too. and then we execute so we go here so id is two and then first we have to find it and then because in our generic repository is a type of user so it's fast it's getting all the entity or information of the user here but the important here is the uid is two so it will remove the two okay so it's now success. So it's removed. So it's ID two. You have to query back if it's it's gone already. So it's removed. Now. So the result now it has no data. So it's deleted. Now we need to add if we can add a new user. So let's go here. 
who's the adding this is the post this is how to add try out okay so basically new id should not be needed because this is into identity it will automatically create automatic ID. so let's try to put uh, for example generic user that's our goal and it's just first like that and let's create okay so this is the entity or the information that's being passed so generic user and then yeah so can see it's a generic and it's okay so now is success so when we query query again we should have one user or one record so i pass it so see we have now one record okay generic user all right so guys that's how we implement generic repository combination of unit of work so as we said having a repository is uh it's just an abstraction so your your code or your client cannot directly communicate to the database so there is a layer and then when we apply generic repository we all remove all the uh, redundant uh, co duplicate codes and of course uh the unit of work is serve as a grouping of one or more operation into a one single transaction that is what we call unit of work so that operation can either fast or fail as a unit so that's the purpose of unit of work all right so it's that's for the video for today or for tonight i hope you like it and if you have more question or clarification, just comment below. And of course, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. And of course, the bell button so that you will be notified in the next upcoming video. So next, we will try to create the another repository for the entity uh, car, car, center, country. So basically, we just add a uh, I interface of car repository and we just inherit the generic repository and even you cannot or you can exclude his own uh, method or signature here because it's all on the generic and then of course in the you have to create a implementation so just like this is a repository so you just have to do for example if you are not creating a new signature inside the door uh, uh, card history so there's nothing here but now in uh, that's, that's the thing that you do so it's very simple now and then when you create that uh, for example card repository you have your crude operation you just basically you need to work this uh, car service that would be in here in the unit of work we just add here and everything was goes fine so you see how much uh could uh replication or could duplicates code that we remove by implementing the generic repository so guys that's that's for tonight and happy learning and subscribe and bye bye thank you for supporting my channel bye